researchers are increasingly recruiting wasps in the battle against the emerald ash borer, a destructive beetle from Asia that has infiltrated the entire Great Lakes region. A biological control facility in Brighton, Michigan serves as a base camp for the production of non-native wasps that feed on the ash borer's eggs and larvae. Jonathan Lelito, an entomologist trained at Pennsylvania State University, manages the facility. We have three individual uh, parasitoid wasps. These are stingless little organisms um, that are something that we've identified in, in, its home, in the beetle's home range in Asia that appear to be the primary control agents, meaning that there are other species that may attack EAB, um, but that these three probably offer us the best chance of success in, in establishing some kind of a, a, a predator-prey balance here in North America. So there are two species that attack the larval form of the emerald ash borer, and then the third species attacks the emerald ash borer's eggs. Uh, the rearing method that we use to produce these parasitoids re relies on the collection of emerald ash borers in their various life stages from the field. So basically the infested areas surrounding this lab in Michigan. Um, we harvest ash trees, we cut them down, uh, chainsaw them into about three foot pieces, and then there's two destinies for those, for those logs. The other logs we harvest for throughout the rest of the year, we peel the bark off of, which I'll show you, um, and we extract the emerald ash borer larvae. And we're looking for a specific stage of the emerald ash borer larvae called the fourth instar. It's the largest and last stage of the larva. It's about that big. Um, we peel these out of the logs and then we insert them into various different setups uh, where we actually would then present those larvae inside of small little manageable pieces of ash. Uh, to the larval parasitoids, which then implant their eggs on or in those larvae. And about three to four weeks later, the new parasitoids will emerge. Uh, once the parasitoids of the larval, the two larval attacking species emerge, they're allowed to mate. Uh, they're fed on honey and water for about a week. Once they're mature, the cycle repeats itself. We present them with new larvae, etc. And then we can store them for various lengths of time, uh, varying with the three species, uh, in preparation for release into the field. Thousands of the tiny stingless wasps are produced at the facility each week. Biological scientists at the facility are also studying ways to attract the ash borer to trees inundated with wasps. Hormone traps hold some promise. This is Rachel Gleason reporting for Great Lakes Echo.